Yo, came in here for the best shooting and playmaking badges in NBA 2K21. I got you. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy CJ, aka Nolomit CJ, man. Today, we're getting straight into the best shooting and playmaking badges as well as finishing in defense. I thought I would just title it that. But before this video starts, make sure to subscribe if you're new. You know what I'm saying? With notifications. Subscribe if you're new. Make that like button blue. And let's get straight to the video, y'all. I ain't talking Wendy's right now, but we are 4 for 4 for January. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody's motivated for like the first week of January, bro, but listen, I'm not letting this turn into hype, bro. We are making this possible. We're making this happen in 2021. With that being said, we're about to go straight into the best badges in the game. Also, I'm going to have time saves on this video so you guys can see the parts that you want to see. But that does not mean to skip the video, y'all. Please don't skip. But anyway, let's get straight to the badges, y'all. So I'm going to be ranking each badge from like tier to tier. So I'm going to show you guys the best tier for shooting. So first tier is deep threes max that boy out you know what i'm saying you want to go max i can only get gold deep threes with this player because i'm a power forward i think some power forwards can i don't know let me know in the comment section but my power forward one gets gold deep threes so i max it out it's basically limitless range um you guys need it to shoot mid ranges and threes even though it says deep threes i don't know why they couldn't just make it limitless again but i'm not gonna go into ranting y'all deep threes is hands down the best shooting badge in the game it's the most it's just the one you need to be able to shoot like from any distance like at efficient rate so next badge you want to go into is hot zone hunter you know what i'm saying it boosts your shot from hot zones if you guys didn't know like since 20 you guys have probably been playing this game since 2k20 but you get a huge shot percentage boost when you shoot in your hot zones and when you have half and hot zone hunter you just can't miss it's simple as that you guys know how broken hot zones are if you guys ever played the 2k game you'll know how goaded hot zones are so you want to run hot zone hunter hall of fame you feel me and the next badge that is an a tier is hot shot y'all hot shot is arguably the most broken shooting badge in the game these threes these other badges are like you know things you need but this badge is broken you can get takeover in one shot videos coming soon shout out to jay amir for putting me on my boy i know you're watching this but anyways y'all this badge is so broken that's why it's in the a tier it's probably like the flashy pass or shooting if that makes sense basically in a sense that like you know this badge can get you takeover in like two three shots mind you if you pair this with special delivery you get team takeover in two shots but hey, these three badges right now, right here, you guys will be dominating any game right here. But these are some other badges that will help you that are still in the A tier. One of them is Blinders. Blinders is a very good badge, you know what I'm saying? It's like Deadeye on steroids, honestly. Like, I hit a couple of crazy threes with Blinders when I had my sharp take. So, in a sense, if you guys are people that like to shoot, if you get open and shoot, I mean, you don't really need Blinders. That's what I'm saying. That's why I put it like low after these badges but blinders is still a go to badge don't get me wrong you want to run that on max you can i only get 16 shooting so i went with gold blinders to help me with my other badge the next badge i like to run is green machine green machine is pretty good i don't really know what like if it's better on hall of fame or not but i mean hey you, if you guys have enough shooting badges put that boy on hall of fame bro pretty much speaks for itself you know it helps you green consecutive shots um, I have it on silver right now as you guys can see I only have 16 badges So I thought I'd organize like this if you guys have like a low amount of shooting badges I'll go something along the lines of this but make sure deep threes hot zone and hot shot are like your main three honestly in my opinion and then Maybe green machine if you have like lower than mine I would go green machine instead of blinders only because if you made that build with like lower shooting than this You'd probably be shooting you know open shots and you want to be cons like consistent rather than hitting crazy shots But these are the B rated badges right here these are the um, other badges besides these. If you have more shooting badge upgrades than, um, you know, the ones I just showed you, you might as well put on these. Rhythm Shooter helps you shoot more consistent. Stop and Pop helps you just, you know, make standstill threes off dribble. Basically, if you do like a quick stop, shout out to my quick stop tutorial, go tune into that. If you haven't already, it's rolling. Current gen and next gen users. But these three badges, you know, Stop and Pop helps you shoot off that. Rhythm Shooter helps you shoot consistently, you know, and Volume Shooter helps you shoot a lot of shots and make them at a consistent rate. We're about to go into my playmaking badges setup, but if you guys are still watching this video, comment down below your goals for 2021. I want to know all you guys' goals. I respond to all of them, you know what I'm saying? Your boy responds to every comment. Now, the funny thing about playmaking is that uh, these, the way I, you know, have it set up is not the way I rank the badges. Like, bronze doesn't mean it's the worst or anything, but these are like, all the A tier badges set up I would use personally. Ankle breaker, you know what? It just speaks for itself, y'all. Gold is pretty much all you need. You can put on Hall of Fame if you really want to, if you have enough playmaking. And if it lets you get it but ankle breaker i have that on gold that's the highest i can get bailout i have it on bronze it's actually very good on gold no cap this is why it's still an a tier badge so i'm saying the rankings i have it is not the way i tier them these are all the a tier badges though you know what i'm saying it really depends on your play style though if you're like a guy that likes to like pass out and stuff but handles for days hall of fame bro you want to be dribbling as long as possible without getting tired bro you know how you know how crucial stamina is bro gym rat um you know i have gym rat now so i have unlimited gatorade gatorio is coming out soon if you guys really want but you know what i'm saying handles for days hall of fame just to you know 
You, you shoot better when you have more energy, and you dribble better when you have more energy. Unpluckable. I just rock the Hall of Fame. Honestly, Unpluckable's never been good, bro. Real talk, Unpluckable's really never been good, if we keep it honest. But I rock the Hall of Fame just to get le like less ripped as possible. I don't think that this rumor about a, ba a badge on bronze working better than Hall of Fame is, you know, it's, it's not true. But it's just like, you know, Unpluckable is just not reliable. So I just put on Hall of Fame just to ensure that I don't get ripped. Tight handles were rocking on gold because if you guys put it at one tier up on Hall of Fame, it's gonna give you park handles and park handles, bro. Like if you guys actually use park handles to dribble, bro, like yeah, no, it's just it's just not the wave no more. It hasn't been busting since 2K18, bro. Real talk. So tight handles, you want to put it on gold so you don't end up with um you know park dribbles. But basically, tight handles gives you you know that stun animation like the explosive on the back. Quick first step, bro. Like it speaks for itself. Quick first step Hall of Fame. You, that's a must. You want that on max you can. Quick first step is going to make you move as fast as possible on the court. And last but not least, Bullet Passer. Bullet Passer, you know, you can put it on gold. It's actually, like, Bullet Passer on gold is valid. You know what I'm saying? It just makes your passes faster. Also, like, like if you're trying to dot your mans on the twos, bro, or threes, it's just so fast. They cannot stop it. If you're someone's trying to hedge, it's too fast to stop. Real talk. It's an underrated passing badge. And honestly, if you have enough badges, put it on gold. Now, we're going into the Tier B badges. Um, I have my thing highlighted over Floor General because I don't have the badge. But Floor General is a Tier B badge too because it helps your teammates, you know, get an attribute boost on their three-pointer. But if your man actually can't shoot in action, bro, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. You need to watch my jump shot video because, yeah, y'all y'all cannot be, you know what I'm saying, bricking like that. Go watch my jump shot video, best jump shot in the game. Thank you guys for the support on it too, on the road to 5K views on it. But anyway, go tune into that. It should be on your screen in a minute. But... The four generals a tier B badge. Downhill is a tier B badge because you can only use it in threes and wreck. It's a it's a pretty good badge. Quick first step already helps you make you move fast. So I don't think you need downhill me personally. But downhill is still a good badge, though. Don't get it twisted. If you have a lot, a lot of playmaking, y'all, go ahead and rock this badge. It's not bad. If you really want to, though. It's really if you want to. Next badge we're going into is Space Creator. So I don't really know how broken Space Creator is this year, honestly. But Ankle Breaker and Tight Handles already give you Ankle Breakers off step back. So I don't really know what Space Creator does. If anybody knows, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys have anything to say, let me know in the comment section below. I accept criticism, you know what I'm saying? I need to know. I don't really know how some of these badges work. But Space Creator, I put in Tier B badge just because I don't know how it works. But it's still, you know what I'm saying? It does what it does, you know what I'm saying? It still catches ankles. I'm pretty sure off spin moves and step backs. But I'm pretty sure you could do that with shot critting take anyway. So that's why I don't think you need it. Next badge is Special Delivery. Some of you guys might be mad I didn't put this in the A section. The only reason it's a B section is because if you're playing with randoms, bro, they're not going to, like, shoot the ball, catch, and shoot. I'm telling you, I play with randoms all the time, bro. They're just so self-centered, you know what I'm saying? If you're playing with your friends, go ahead, rock this. One of y'all should rock this, definitely. It's the best secondary badge I have in this video, so go put that on. If you guys already used the um, necessity badges, if you guys have extra badges. But Special Delivery, if you're trying to win twos games or, like, trying to win in general... It's actually a valid badge. If you get two flashy assists, you're going to get team takeover and two jump shots. Two greens, whatever, whites, anything. Two whites or jump shots that go in, basically you get team takeover if you hit them with the flashy assist. It has to be an assist too, but special delivery is OP, y'all. It's actually like, if you pair this with hot shot, it's so broken. I'm telling you guys, just rock this badge if you guys have enough badge points. Next badge is needle threader. Honestly, I would rather go bullet pass than needle threader because it just speeds up your passes. These This badge just helps you get patches through like you know like bad passes it's basically like you throwing a scary and you have a better chance of getting it through which is not a, it's, it's still a good badge don't get me wrong but bullet passer just is just a lot better than you know needle thinner which is why it's on the b tier as well and last but certainly not least dimer dimer the thing about dimer is everybody can shoot consistent this year there's no like you know rebounding wings with a 73 pointer unless you make it like that but you guys you know should have like a 80 or above three pointer my two way has an 83 pointer i would expect you guys to have higher you feel me and not only that, every build's pretty much consistent. Now, unless you're playing like a center, centers you don't have deep threes, I don't think. So, um, dimer you can still use. I'm not this because it's a B tier does not mean don't use it. You know what I'm saying? But I went with everything in the A tier was kind of like things that'll improve your gameplay, get you open, stuff like that. Just make your game style a lot better. I was out here shooting threes with no shooting badges. I went five for five with no shooting badges, y'all. It's actually easy to shoot this year. Now, defense. These are the defensive badges I would recommend if you know you're like a guard. If you're a guard playing the guard position, I'm a power forward, but I'm still playing the guard sometimes. If you're playing the one, I would recommend with these badges. These are on my A tier personally. Ankle braces, you know, I don't really know what level ankle braces, braces will do you justice. But I just put Hall of Fame because I don't want to be crossed out there. I don't want to be in someone else's clip. You know what I'm saying? This is my clip, you dig? 
So Inca Braces Hall of Fame, you know, <laughs> just stay out of clips, stay out of clips. Intimidator is on the A tier, you know what I'm saying? If someone, you know, run up to somebody, they can miss a layup, a three, anything. Intimidator is your best bet. Basically, it's like the most reliable defensive badge. You know, it sends and it's not, you know what I mean? Like, Rim Protector, you get dunked on regardless. Clamps will get blown by. But Intimidator, it doesn't seem, cease to amaze me, bro. You'll still get like a better contest than you will with no Intimidator. Rebound Chaser is another A tier badge. This is me playing the guard, so I only put it on bronze. But hey, just because of the ranking, you know what I'm saying, does not mean it's on the A tier. I put it on A tier, you know what I'm saying. Rebound Chaser is the best rebound, only rebounding and best rebounding badge in the game. So, you know what I'm saying, use Rebound Chaser. Rim Protector speaks for itself. It saves you, you know, from the likelihood of getting dunked on. And it boosts your team's takeover. So, in a sense, you get a, you basically, you know, takeover for getting blocks, getting stops. And your your builds should have great defense, you know what I'm saying? If you're a build, most of the, all of every build I made this year um, has, like, a high block. This build gets, like, a 95 block. And my two-way does, too. Go to that build, those builds if you want, you know what I'm saying? But Rim Protector Hall of Fame, you know what I'm saying? You want to be able to guard all five positions and also get stops when needed. Pick Dodger, I put this on Hall of Fame just because you know it's not reliable ever it would never was reliable but for those teams that use screens and fade off it you you're gonna want to get back on the guard as quickly as possible and without losing as much energy so this is why i went pick dodger hall of fame so you lose less energy and hopefully you can slide through the defender screen screens are just always been you know unmatchable there was never really a way to run through them like perfectly so pick dodger is the only thing you rely on and i would just run the hall of fame if you have a good amount of defense Next badge is Chase Down Artist. You know, Chase Down Artist is basically, you know, the one up or another thing, the rim protector. It helps you get blocks on the chase down end. So if the guy blows by you, Chase Down Artist still works. It doesn't have to be on a fast break. For twos, if someone blows by you, it's Chase Down Artist. And threes, if someone blows by you, same thing. And also, it's a fast break. It helps you get your speed up. One, it helps you get your chase downs at a more efficient rate. So Chase Down Artist is another A tier badge. And finally, Clamps. Clamps helps you stay in front of your defender. So you're going to want to rock this at the highest you can. Um, most of you guys should be a Hall of Fame anyway with the high perimeter defense. So, Clamps is your best bet to, you know, get bump animations, bump steals, bump everything. You know what I'm saying? It helps you just lock down your defender. I put Box on bronze, you know what I'm saying, to box out, you know, the defender or someone that's trying to get the rebound. Box is still... The reason why it's not an A-rated badge is because, I mean, sometimes it's all about positioning. I rerunning box without people that even have it, and I still get snagged down by guards. You feel me? So, box you cannot go wrong with. It's only one badge, so this should be, like, the first thing you put on your secondary list for defense. If you're playing the big man, you got, definitely you want to run box, you know what I'm saying? So, make sure you... The next badge we're going over is Heart Crusher. Now, Heart Crusher is a valid badge. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't really know if it's as OP as current gen. I haven't heard anything about it. But if we're breaking this on current gen, bro, if you get, like, two stops, you're, the whole other team is going to be cold. It just puts them all on locks in, a, like, a clear box, bro. They cannot go anywhere. It's pretty broken for at least current gen stand point. Next badge we're about to go over is Off-Ball Pest. Now, Off-Ball Pest is actually a valid badge. It helps you stay on your defender or offender, my fault. Offender, if they're like cutting for an alley or anything, if they're cutting for like an alley oop or a backdoor three, it helps you stay on them. You kind of like hold, you kind of like hold them so they can't really like get it off perfectly. So it helps you stay with your defender. So I would recommend using this on bronze at the max. Um, bronze works just as fine as Hall of Fame from my perspective. So, or for the, at least for this badge. So I would definitely, I would probably use bronze. Next badge we're going into is Hot Stopper. Hot Stopper helps you basically get takeover every time you get a defensive stop. It's like Rim Protector without getting a block. And if you rock this with Rim Protector, you get even more takeover. So meaning that this build actually gives you good takeover. So from a takeover standpoint, this build is actually A. But, you know, overall, I want to put this over any of the defensive badges I put first. So therefore, Hot Stopper is a B rated. Next badge we're going over is Pickpocket. Pickpocket is pretty good but i don't really know like if there's a difference between none and hall of fame like i i actually cannot tell you know what i'm saying like bump stealers just happen rng is just crazy in this game or any 2k so i don't know pickpocket's like a, it's not definitely not an a tier i'm telling you it's not an a tier but it's it i can't say you can go wrong with putting on pickpocket you know what i'm saying i think it'll probably give you more steals than not pogo stick um was broken in 2k20 but i don't really know how good it is this year this is why it's a b rated until i try it i won't know so I just put it to B. I didn't want to gas it or like make it too bad. So I put it in there just in case it's a good badge or not. You know what I'm saying? So Pogo Stick, uh, I don't really know what level you should rock it at, but I know you cannot go wrong. Interceptor is a badge I know everybody can't get because some people didn't upgrade their steel past the limit. But I put it at a B tier because um, I don't really, one, I don't even know how OP it is. People don't really throw scaries like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's easy to get steals without Interceptor. I'd be getting mad steals without Interceptor, bro. I'm telling you. 
but um this is a b rated badge and also tireless defender last but not least um i don't really know if it like what the boost is for it but i know you know what i'm saying it helps you get tired less quickly so if you want to guard somebody on ball for a long period of time there are spamming combos it still it can't hurt to use this badge right here now finally finishing badges finishing badges um these are the three finishing badges that are like on the a tier nothing else in my opinion is on the a tier along with these badges now heat seeker gives you takeover for your dunks or inside shots so layups you get each extra takeover dunks you get extra takeover so it's basically better than showtime you know what i'm saying or highlight film whatever you want to call it but heat seeker and highlight film are separated into different badges how they feel helps you get team takeover for your team and he seeker helps you get your personal takeover and also team takeover but posterizer you know posterizer does helps you get contact dunks and everything and whatnot posterizer you know it's, it's been this thing since 2k17 they just kept changing the name but posterizer is goaded y'all you get contact dunks like crazy and slithery finisher helps you get around the defenders and also helps you get contact dunks believe it or not pairing posterizer and slithery helps you get more contact dunks than not now these here are the B rated tier um, tier badges in my opinion. You know, Acrobat is a good badge, Giant Slayer and Law City Finisher. Um, I don't really think you need anything else besides the A tier, honestly. All these other badges help you do things you obviously couldn't do with the other. But my goal is just for contact dunks. I may even be driving to get layups. Like if you guys are driving to get layups, I mean you guys can put these badges on. But for me, you know, I have eleven finishing. The A tier is all I really need to be able to finish. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, yo. It did take me a while to make, but make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for some more content. You know what I'm saying? We have content on the way. We are 4 for 4 no Wendy, like I said. You know what I'm saying? It'll mean a lot if you guys drop a lot of support. You know, let me know. Spam the comment section, bro, if y'all still here. Expand the comment section. But I'll see you guys in the next video, y'all. Peace.